we move on to the next talk. I uh, want to announce now um, Dr. Chiung Wei Yang from Singapore. He will uh, talk about targeted delivery of berberine via liposomes, protects heart function, and myocardial infarction. Dr. Wang, please. Thank you. Thank you uh, for your introduction. And actually, my name is Jungmi Wang. Yang is my wife's family name. <laughs> but yes, thanks. Uh, I completely agree with the previous uh, speakers. You know, the, uh, we should tackle arteriosclerosis as early as possible and also identify the, uh, the patients with vulnerable uh, plaques. And, but in reality, we, we, still, we cannot avoid the patients. They have uh, their arteriosclerosis plaques ruptured, and then they will have the myocardial infarction. But the, the question will be, yeah, they already have the myocardial infarction, how to treat them. So we should find a solution for that. And so that's my talk. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, this one. Thanks. Um, so as I show you, oh, sorry. Try to go back. Yes, great. So as uh, the, uh, reported by the WHO, you know, the uh, ischemic heart disease, it accounts for nearly half of the cardiovascular disease in both men and women. Uh, I don't have to uh, stress further, but the main cause of the ischemic heart disease is myocardial infarction, and which you have uh, the arteriosclerosis plaques ruptures, so they have the uh, uh, lack of, uh, lead to lack of the uh, blood and oxygen, so they will uh, lead to uh, uh, cardiac muscle damage, and they will, uh, oh, sorry. And you have the, uh, the main uh, two drivers for the damage will be the oxidative stress and inflammation, this is just as the previous speakers uh, stressed. And then uh, we look for the uh, compounds and uh, screens, uh, several na natural compounds. And one of the candidates is the berberine. Um, ah. uh, it's the berberine. So berberine is extract uh, from, it's a, a compound extracted from the herb medicine. It uh, has a long history in uh, Chinese uh, herb, uh, in Chinese traditional medicine. So they have a broad application. And with, with clear uh, antioxidants and also anti-inflammatory activities. And the berberine has a very broad application in, uh, in Asia. As you can uh, appre uh, appreciate here, they have all different uh, formulations and for broad application. Yeah, you have the pills, uh, powder. And I just uh, noticed that, uh, and actually it's not only in Asia, it's also uh, have a broad uh, <coughs> application for the uh, healthy uh, su supplements in uh, European and the US. And so uh, to prove it's, a clinic, uh, it's you know, clinical uh, application, then people uh, started the animal research first. So they, they use uh, the berberine, to treat the myocardial infarction uh, uh, in animal models, as you see here, this from different pathways to see uh, to uh, inhibit the hypoto uh, apoptosis, and also here uh, different cycling pathways try to uh, at tackle the myocardial infarction damage, and also in the clinical trials. So there is a, um, a small clinical trial with uh, around 50 patients a few years ago. So with the heart failure patients uh, from either uh, ischemic heart disease or the dilated cardiomyopathy. So they have this, they, they uh, have, uh, they did show some cardio, uh, cardioprotective effects, but the main issue here, as you, as you I, I stressed here in, in red. So the big issue here is all these studies, they have to uh, uh, give the, the uh, berberin in oral formulation and it's l long term, you have to take the daily and for uh, t over a few weeks. And this, so that's a long dose and a, uh, long dosing and also high dose. So, but still, uh, we have to stay positive. So the, the key message here will be, you know, berberine is still, it's cardioprotective, but the main issue is efficiency is very low. 
And the, re the reason for that is the berberine after oral taken, uh, the availability uh, is really low. And for instance, as shown here, and after the oral take, you only have less than half percent of the berberine really goes to your circulation. And you never know how much you're really doing the work. And so our question will, you know, the first question will be, you know, okay, the oral uh, uh, take have so much problems, so can we do the IV injection? And is that more efficient? So for that, and we start with the free berberine and also uh, formulation uh, in the liposomes. And this is just uh, to show the structure of the berberine, and then we put that in the uh, uh, pedulated, uh, long circulating uh, liposomes. And this is the liposome uh, prepared in, uh, by my collaborators from Utrecht. So they put that in the liposomes. Uh, and then the key message here, you have the size, the nano size, uh, around 100 nanometer. And it's quite uh, uh, consistent. And for this, uh, you know, the nanomedicine is already quite extensively started in a, uh, in a cancer field, and we learn for, try to learn from the cancer studies. And actually also in the myocardial infarction, so the, um, they also have the leakage, uh, the EPR effects in the, uh, <coughs> in the infected area. And we try to use, uh, take use of these uh, EPR effects for our drug delivery. And as uh, in the first day, one speaker uh, stressed, uh, all animal models are not good animal models, but some of them are useful. So for, for us, we also use uh, these animal models uh, to uh, stress our research questions. And for this myocardial infarction, you have a uh, few uh, stages. And the uh, first uh, uh, seven days will be the acute stage. So they have a very uh, acute inflammation uh, stage. And here you see uh, you have the inflammatory uh, response and afterwards the fibrosis and dilation of the, uh, the heart chamber. And here, so we uh, take use of these uh, disease uh, characteristics. We deliver the, the uh, we give the drug at uh, three ten points immediately after the myocardial infarction and D3 and D6. And this is just to show you uh, the first uh, proof of concept, so that these uh, uh, liposomes, they do tar uh, target to the uh, damaged heart, as shown here. And I can go further. Uh, if we uh, uh, expanded the heart, and you can also see, uh, uh, so the, uh, this is the healthy tissue, so you do not see any uh, liposomes there. And all the liposomes uh, labeled with the C5 here, and they accumulate in the myocardial infarction uh, uh, area, and of course, as other uh, nanoparticles, they also go to the liver. But if you look at the retention of these nanoparticles in the different organs, and like uh, 24 hours, uh, sorry, 48 hours later, and you, we only observed the liposomes uh, in the infected area of the heart, but the, in the liver, the signal is uh, very low. So the key, the key message here, it will be the retention of the liposomes they, uh, in the injured myocardium is much longer than any other organs. And his, at histologi uh, histological level, and we also, uh, just to confirm that, you know, this is uh, um, just to confirm that uh, the infected area by different stainings, uh, this uh, trichrome staining, uh, uh, HD staining, and especially here you can see that the uh, fluorescence labeled liposomes, they only accumulate in the infected area. Of course, the first question will be the toxicity, and if you have a lot of mice, they, uh, they have serious body weight loss, and then we have to terminate the experiment. So the first experiment we did is uh, just to compare the empty liposomes <coughs> with the liposome berberine. And to see uh, after the myocardial infarction whether the body weight is uh, loss is worsened and apparently not. So we go further and look at the cardiac uh, uh, function. And from here you can uh, appreciate. So if we uh, compare to the, the uh, chamber dilation, uh, which is uh, indicated by the endosystolic volume or endosystolic volume, 
and uh, lipsum berberine, they reduce the dilation uh, of the chamber induced by the myocardial infarction. And if we look further and look at the heart function, it's very clear that the lipsum berberine, they improved the heart function uh, uh, very significant, uh, significantly compared to the empty lipsum and also compared to, to the uh, uh, free berberine. So the fr free berberine here is uh, uh, for the same concentration, it hardly issue any cardiac protective effects. So to conclude, um, we compared to uh, the, uh, uh, the oral uh, administration and uh, in IV injecting is safe. And uh, with the same uh, dose of uh, berberine, and the liposome berberine is much more effective. And uh, so that's uh, uh, it's the conclusion will be, you know, that's the way to go. And you can also appreciate it here. So to the end, I would like to thank uh, all my collaborators and also especially the students who prepared uh, uh, the lips on berberine and also uh, my team who do the animal test. Thanks for your attention. Thank you very much, Dr. Yang Wei, for this uh, interesting new marker or substance. Question, please. We have time for one short question. We, uh, we are rather over time. Please. that belong to the, uh, to the traditional uh, Chinese uh, medicine or Indian medicine. So is that an anti a strong anti-inflammatory effect? What is the biological mechanism uh, that we're looking at? Uh, so here, the, yeah, that's a, that's a very good question. And uh, actually, we did uh, some screening before, and that's a previous uh, publication by my collaborator, uh, Raymond uh, from Etrex. Uh, so they did uh, some screening on uh, several natural compounds, and uh, cucumin is also one of them, and uh, we also have berberine here. So they have, indeed, they have uh, um, at least the selected compound, they have a quite similar uh, antioxidant and inflammatory effects. Of course, you also have some uh, compounds, you have more uh, potent effects on uh, uh, oxidative stress, and some more on inflammatory sides. And the berberine, they have both, so that's why we choose that. And in this uh, specific setting, and berberine, uh, the, the mechanism was studied before in uh, other animal models. And you know, they have to, uh, as they shoot the two examples in the rat model, so they have the ischemia reperfusion, and they give the berberine in oral formulation for long term, but they, ha they do shoot, they could uh, inhibit the apoptosis for anti-inflammatory effects. And yeah, I w so that's, we did not really look at it in our setting because it's at the cellular uh, level, it's already well, well studied. So, yeah, thanks. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank you. Young Wei. I want to announce 